All right, today is chores day. Well, today is just my dishes day. I've been off my game for a couple of weeks now. Well, maybe just a week because, you know, got a finger infected. Take care of yourself is so important. So, yeah, so doing a little backlog of these dishes and about to get that knocked out for today. Let's get it. So, you may be wondering, why do I have chairs behind me? Well, if you have a one year old, you will understand. So, before I get into my topic to today, essentially what my kid's been doing is, at first, he was climbing and pushing the chairs and stuff and changing the thermostat and all the other stuff with it, right? And for the most part, he's been pretty successful at that. So, he likes doing that. One part of the solution was to, you know, flip the chairs upside down. Didn't really care about that. He started clicking on and off the, the light switch and still pushing the chairs and moving around. So at this particular point, he's messing up the chairs because they're upside down. He's pushing them around. And yeah, it's not good. So if you haven't worn your old, you will understand. And I kind of remember doing this for my first kid when she was a little kid as well. I had to put the chairs in the bathroom because she used to climb up on them and fall down from it sometimes so that's my current solution right now putting in my room other than that let's get into today's topic what i want to discuss which is delegating just to go over what i just recently did was clean some dishes and stuff like that it took me roughly around like two hours because it was a huge backlog I had to put dishes in the dishwasher, unload those dishes, and put up some other dishes, wash some dishes by hand, and I still wasn't finished with my work. So what I am trying to get at is I think a lot of things have been, you know, really compacted in my life, really, and I'm trying to fit so much time within a certain time span of day hours, but at the same time, I'm also trying to get rest, and I've seen the importance of actually getting sleep which makes a really big ploy to like, you know, mental health and all that other stuff. But just like for my overall well-being, just to get enough sleep. I don't think there's enough time in the day. And one of the things that I'm really happy that I really got a chance to read some portion of this book. And thank you very much to my cousin, Jasmine. She actually gave me this book called The 4-Hour Work Week. And I think it was on like chapter 8. Let me see. Is the book? Boom. I think it's in chapter 8. Yeah, chapter 8. You know, outsourcing your life and stuff like that is part of the whole piece of A is for automation kind of thing. And at the very beginning, there has this quote that says, A man is rich in proportion to the number of things he can afford to let alone. And that was like really impactful. It's just like that first start off to the chapter and everything. But they got they go, you know, on and on what goes on in regards to outsourcing life tasks and all this other stuff. But for the most part, that was really powerful for me. I don't even need to read the whole entire chapter. I got all what I needed from that one quote, really. And what that essentially was telling me is that, you know, if I can outsource things that, you know, would be taking up a, a good portion of my time and utilize that time for something else that I can ultimately, you know, put, be productive then I can, you know, scale myself up more, right? So instead of being someone who is, you know, doing it and like trying to, you know, get stuff done with other things, I can just be essentially com not really commanding, but, you know, giving out tasks, exactly things I don't need to do all the time because I can outsource those things. So things that I can outsource, and let alone, then I can free up more time to do other things that I need to ultimately do for, you know, life, business. So I think it's going to be a really important step for me going forward as an entrepreneur is being able to outsource these things when I ultimately need to. And this probably even going to go into like YouTube. And I'm thinking I'm going to try and you will probably see 
maybe in the near future, maybe next month or this month, I'm going to try a whole month of actually outsourcing some things that I ultimately do for my YouTube channel, such as editing and the thumbnail design and all that other stuff. I'm going to try to do those things that will outsource because I say a good, I say a good majority of my videos take a little bit, eight plus hours, if anything, to edit. This video in general is probably really cookie cutter kind of thing. It's probably going to be really straightforward because I don't really plan on changing anything in regards to it other than, you know, snippet, snipping it up whenever I need to. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, delegating. I need to learn that word and I need to use that word. I need to employ it into my life as soon as possible because that's the only way I can scale. So, peace.